My name is uh, Rahab Lemarkoko, an assistant chief clinical officer with 15 years of medical uh, clinical experience. So Rosa became very sick for quite uh, some time and then she just started shivering. She started talking to the family, like giving them a farewell uh, talk and then she just gotten worse in the night and died. She just died and what happened then from the medical point of view? Uh, from the medical point of view, when the, the doctors, because the senior consultant surgeons came, they came very fast to the, this house and what, this home. And when they came, when Rosa had actually already resurrected, but what, what they saw was a paper white Rosa. Someone who is paper white, someone who does not have was minimum, almost no blood in the body. And that usually, such a person, when they collapse and die, there's no amount of resuscitation that can come bring them back. In fact, what usually happens when someone dies, that is when there is the cessation or the stopping of the cardiac activity, the heart activities. Uh, it rapidly leads to the death of the brain. In fact, in two to three minutes, usually the brain is dead. And when the brain is dead, then the brain is the one that controls every other function in the body. So when the brain is dead, then indeed there's nothing else this person can do. There'll be no respiratory, uh, the, the breathing will not be there. The pupils are usually dilated and fixed, meaning that the optic nerve has, is also long dead. These are dead, these are dead eyes. They cannot react to light. There is no breathing, there's no muscle activity. And the brain, as I have told you, usually dies very fast because it's very sensitive to oxygen, the lack of oxygen. So we don't understand how after more than 90 minutes of complete dead, that is irreversible. So her brain was totally not functioning, she, the brain was totally dead. Yes, because the, the brain tissues or the brain cells only take like two to three minutes without oxygen and then they die and it's irreversible brain dead usually. It's irreversible, brain dead is irreversible, but then what happened? First I want you to understand that in this case of Rosa, there was even no resuscitation. There were no resuscitation efforts, there was no cardiac uh, massage, you call it cardiopulmonary resuscitation. There was no transfusion done, there was no infusion done, there were no drugs that were used. So. There was no oxygen given, so there were no chances at all that there was anything that would ever have brought her back. This is awesome, this is really, in fact, frightening, especially to us, the medical fraternity. Believe me, in my 15 years of uh, clinical experience, I've met several such cases, uh, I mean, of uh, people with the paper white, you know. When we check, like, under the lid, it's paper white, the tongue is paper white, the palm are paper white. Usually we also check the nails, we check uh, maybe the planter of the feet and everything is paper white. When that patient collapses, because they usually complete to cardiac failure also, uh, because there's no blood for the heart to pump. And so when such a patient collapses and stops breathing, stops the cardiac activity, even with the resuscitation, they have not been coming back. No human being has ever reversed dead. Doctor, what can you tell us now? Now she's alive. She's alive after the words of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. Three words, only three words, it is well. How can we explain this from a medical point of view? Let me sincere, let me tell the Germany uh, audience or everyone else that is watching all, all over the world, there's no medical explanation to this. We don't find it in the medical journals. No one has ever brought back a dead person. No one has ever uh, resurrected a dead person. So this must be the power of God. Because surely this was a dead brain. Yes. What happened that every function of Rosa is now well. She's eating well. She's talking. She's walking. In fact, you don't see any sign of like weakness. Like that might tell me that maybe some part of the brain is still dead. No, 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 no. That there's any, in fact, there's any ischemia that is lack of, lack, lack of uh, blood in the brain. No, 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 no. 
no 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 she's well she's walking she's walking very fast i'm totally shocked it is very shocking and what is the lesson for all humans on this planet now after after seeing this doctor one we must fear god we must also then fear the mighty prophet who spoke the three words and turned medicine upside down we must then fear the great physician the lord jesus christ and that teaches us that as human beings we have our limits your last words for our audience i have had to leave my patient and my clinic today i've had to arrange so many kilometers away i've had to arrange that someone else takes care of the patients because i had to run here and see this wonder that has defeated medicine that cannot be explained with our human minds how come that someone that is dead for more than 90 minutes is back and alive i have had i've had to come myself how long did you travel how many hours so many hours and i've come with my equipment i want to know how are the vital signs of a resurrected person hallelujah what is the temperature like because it's not in the medical journals i want to find out what is the pulse of this this, this resurrected of the lord i am so shocked what will be the blood pressure of a person that has been resurrected i don't know it's not in our books it was not taught in class it has never happened i have come with the equipment i want to go and do that yes to Rosa. Amen. Thank you the so Lord much. God is, is doing a, a medical a, a journal. Yes. A wonderful journal. Yes. This is not in our books. Thank you so much. The Lord be glorified. Amen. Amen.